Hello guys and welcome to another Profile Tree Wix YouTube tutorial. So today we're going to be looking through how to use the Wix Pro Gallery as a categories area. So as you can see here, uh, I've got four different categories, which is engine parts, alloys, interior parts and exterior parts. And I'm able to use these as placeholders so I can access a page. So if I click on one item, I'm able to access the engine parts. And of course, if I go back to the others, then I'll be able to access the rest of the other pages. So I'm going to be teaching you how to create that and how to design it. So we'll go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start off with a blank section here. And primarily first with what we want to do before we get started is you want to go to add apps and you want to make sure that if you go to the search bar here and search up the Wix, if we look for the Wix Pro Gallery. Okay, so once you find the Wix Pro Gallery, just click on it. And then you're able to install it as I've already installed mine. It's just saying installed and click open. So that should uh, automatically appear for you. But if you can't find it, you can just search it up here in the search bar. So Wix Gallery. And I'm just able to access it. And it's under the category of gallery and pro galleries. So you could choose whatever you want here. So I'm just going to go for a grid layout. Okay, like so. And first of all, what we want to do is we want to make sure we stretch this out to full width at 80px. And then I'm going to go ahead and manage the media. And I'll just reduce this down to four. Okay, so I've reduced it down to four, and as you can see, our layout is a little bit funny. So we'll just click on settings, and this is where we'll start adjusting some areas. So our layout, we want to pick the grid, so I'm happy enough with that. And I'm going to go for a vertical crop fit with a three by four image ratio. And I want to make sure that the images per row is set to four. And I want my spacing to be at 40. Okay, now once we've got that sorted, we want to go to the settings now. And when we hover over this, so I'll show you, a heart icon appears, and we want to make sure that this appears. So we'll just go back to editor. So we'll click on it, go back to settings. Go to settings itself and we're going to remove the heart icon. Of course, you can choose to add these in if you want to. So just depending on your website. So now we want to click on the design and we want to start designing this. So as you can see, it's a 60% overlay color. I want to change that to black. And for the overlay effect, I want it to expand. Okay. And for text, I only want the title to appear and I want that to appear underneath. Okay. And then for the buttons, which we don't have any, but we do have some item style. So we want that to zoom in. So as you can see, it gives that zoom in effect when you hover over it. And then lastly, yeah, that should actually be us. So now what we want to do is we're, we'll just have a look around just to see that there's no other ones here. Yep, okay, happy enough. So in order to change the text below, as you can see, what we want to go uh, do is go to the Manage Media and just under here, you just want to change the title. So it's a, instead of I am 
image title, you would change that to the preferred name of the image. So I'll go ahead and replace these images for actual uh, parts or some, you know, maybe some clothing. And if you want to use some of the Wix designs, you can do so. So if I did search up something to do with, along with fashion, or maybe along with the lines of t-shirts, I will find something to do with the t-shirt, as you can see. So you could have like a men's and a women's section. So you can have something like this. And it will say the description already. So you can just have something like that. And it will pop up. So I'll go ahead and complete this and then I'll get back to you in a minute. So I have these now I put in. So I've just removed the t-shirts as I do have the different pages for these. So I've got alloys, exterior parts, interior parts, and engine parts. So if we go ahead and preview this, we'll just have a quick look at it. As you can see, the expand works and it is showing a close up of all the images. So now our only issue here is, so if we click on them, this is what we'll be getting. So it'll, it'll be like a description of the actual uh, category, which we don't want to do. But instead, we want to change this so that it links to another page. So the way we could do this is if we click on to the Wix Pro Gallery again here. And we just click on the settings. So instead of when clicking on an item, it, it goes into the expand mode. We want to do it so it, it opens a link instead. And what we want to do in order for the actual link to work is that we want to go back to the manage media and we go to the individual images itself. And if you scroll all the way down here, you'll see right there it is link and then that'll add to link. So if you click on that, you could choose a page. So this is to do with alloys. We can click on alloys and we can just click done. And then you would do the same for the others here. So add a link for the exterior parts like so, and then ones for the interior parts as well, and one for the engine parts, like so. And you just go ahead and when you're finished, you go and click done. So when we preview the site, and we click on one of them, so just say we wanted to click on the exterior parts, it opens up the exterior parts. And just so we know that this is working, We'll go back home and we'll preview it again. I should have honestly added a home button, but we'll now pick the engine parts and it should say engine parts. There we are. So of course, uh, this is just the basics of how to create something like this for your website. Of course, you would want to create something fantastic for your site. And if you are wondering how you would change the actual font itself, that's easy enough. You would just go to the site design and you would play about with the text. So we'll click on the text. And as you can see at the minute, it is Helvetica and we can change the text theme. So it's sin and that would change the actual text theme for the entire website. And what we can do as well is we can go to the settings part. We'll just have a look at the design for the, te the text. And we can change the fonts from here, like so. So if I wanted Lulu clean, it'll change to Lulu, Lulu clean. So that's how you would do it as well. And you're also able to adjust the alignment on this area. So that about does it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions at all, just leave them down in the comment section below. I do hope it has helped. And yes, I'll see you for the next one. Thank you very much.